If you get the salt right in your food, if you learn how to use it and when to add it and how much to use, anything you cook will taste better because salt enhances flavor. A lot of people have these really cute little ramekin things that they keep their salt on their kitchen counter on, like really beautifully styled, but that's never gonna work for me, it's never gonna work for you because you can't get all five of your fingers in there. So it really has to be a bowl, maybe this is exaggerating a little bit. So there's sort of three different ways to salt, salt emojis if you will. <laughs> I think the most useful of the salt emoji to learn how to use is the wrist wag, which is sort of the all-purpose salting for anything that is over a large surface area where you wanna get a nice even salting. This is kosher salt, which is about one third as salty as uh, fine sea salt or table salt. So you need to use a lot more of this to get your food properly seasoned. So that's why it looks so dramatic. All right, so you just get all this salt in your hands and you just wag, 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 you wiggle, waggle. The salt emoji for salting a big pot of water, I just call it by the palm full. So we're just gonna put a bunch of salt in there. For me, it's like really palmfuls, like that. It's just about making the environment salty enough so that your food will taste properly seasoned when you pull it out. The pinch of salt is sort of like the finishing touch. It would be kind of insane to try and like season a whole chicken with the pinch because you're gonna go crazy. I love using flaky salt, like Malden salt for this. It's perfect for putting a little bit of salt on a hard cooked egg or over an avocado toast. Anything where you just need sort of a little spot check salt, that's where you use the pinch. 